The Hokuma Charcoal Cooperative in Cienfuegos Province is one of dozens of small traditional charcoal makers on the island. Now there's a potential new market for their produce. In 2015, U.S. President Barack Obama eased the trade embargo to allow goods made by private rather than state-owned businesses to be legally exported to the United States. On Thursday, the first shipment, bringing Cuban charcoal, arrived at Port Everglades in Florida. This is really a significant event for all of us here. Now, with the United States, we have a market much closer to us. If it takes off, as we hope, we can increase production and it will bring economic benefits to us and the country. The man behind the arrangement is U.S. Attorney Scott Gilbert, the U.S. lawyer who represented the jailed American aid contractor Alan Gross, who was eventually freed in a prisoner swap. Earlier this month, Gilbert signed a deal in Havana to purchase 40 tons of Cuban charcoal a small but symbolic first step to build economic ties between the two countries. This way of making charcoal has barely changed for centuries, but the Cubans are hoping that the fact that it is made by hand is what will prove attractive for the American market. Cuba already sells around 80,000 tons of charcoal a year, mainly to Europe. It's made from a wood called marabou, which produces what is claimed to be a high-quality, clean-burning fuel used in pizza ovens as much as barbecues. Marabou is very difficult to cut and work with because it has lots of spines, but we do it. Marabou charcoal is the best. It is solid and burns well. Marabou is a thick, invasive shrub with sharp thorns which grew out of control in Cuba, taking over large tracts of arable land. This prompted Cuban President Raul Castro to offer state-owned land to private farmers on condition that they clear the marabou. Now they've discovered it makes great charcoal, and these worker-run cooperatives hope to create a growing export market providing the new U.S. President Donald Trump doesn't close the door. Michael Voss, CGTN, Cienfuegos Province, Cuba.